I had to make the call for my brother. He goes to a day center. My grandmother. She recently moved to an assisted living facility. I had to make the call for my niece. I'm her favorite aunt. I had to make the call for one of my residents. He never went on community outings with us. It seemed like once a week he would get home and have a new bruise or a mark. She would call almost daily for money, but she never knew where her money had gone. At the last family gathering, she didn't join in the conversation. And she flinched when I tried to give her a hug. He get punished for little things that often others will get excused for. They even stopped taking him out for medical appointments. I was concerned about the marks, but I, I didn't want to cause more trouble. She's a prideful woman and had never asked until she moved there. I took her off to the side to ask her if everything was okay. The center kept giving the same explanation every time. I knew something wasn't right. She told me that someone had hurt her. I knew that type of treatment was wrong, but I didn't feel comfortable talking to management about it. I made the call. I made the call. I made the call. I made the call. Abuse, neglect, and exploitation can be uncomfortable and difficult to talk about. If you suspect someone is being mistreated, however, there are steps you should take to report the abuse. If you suspect someone is being abused or neglected, there are warning signs to watch for. Are there changes in behavior, unexplained bruises or injuries, changes in appearance, or have they withdrawn from activities? If you suspect abuse, neglect, or exploitation, you may want to talk to the person. You may consider asking some questions to help start the conversation. Some possible questions are, do you feel safe? Has someone hurt you? Do you get to spend your money on the things you want? Has anyone touched you in a way you do not like? Are you getting the care you need? If you believe that the person is being abused, neglected, or exploited, you must report it, but you can do it anonymously. When reporting abuse, try to provide as much information as possible, like name of the person being abused, neglected, or exploited, person's age or date of birth, person's location, person's disability, information about what happened or why you suspect mistreatment, dates of the incident if possible, provider name if applicable, name and contact information for the guardian if the person has one. Don't worry if you don't have all of the information. It's better to report what you do know and let the agency help fill the blanks in later. Remember, you have the right to report anonymously. If you need to report an emergency, please contact 911 as soon as possible. For adults, contact Adult Protective Services by calling 1-800-992-6978 or using the online reporting tool on their website. For children, contact Child Protective Services by calling 1-800-800-5556. This hotline is staffed 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. After contacting APS or CPS, you may contact Indiana Disability Rights at 1-800-622-4845 or email intake at indianadisabilityrights.org. You may also write to Indiana Disability Rights at 4701 North Keystone Avenue, Suite 222, Indianapolis, Indiana 46205. Remember, if you're reporting an emergency or feel that someone is not safe, please contact 911 as soon as possible. Agencies may ask for your name or contact information, but you are not required to share it. You have the right to report anonymously. If you suspect abuse, neglect, or exploitation, I urge you. I urge you to make the call. Make the call. Please, make the call.